Welcome everyone to the Space Camp Alumni Association's first ever Space Bowl Trivia Tournament of Champions. I am Chad Driver. I'm here with Rebecca Corzon. And David Hurley is here as well. How you doing? And we three are all uh, Space Camp alumni board members. Um, back up just a minute. Uh, six, six feet. Right. Got it. Yep. And I'm gonna I'm gonna put that rule in effect post pandemic as well. Just six feet. Okay. What? Anyway. We usually don't get to do this in the same <laughs> in the same room. We're usually in different states, so this is pretty cool. Anyway, uh, we brag about this a lot, but the three of us combined have logged zero days in space. Zero. But we have logged 45 days at Space Camp. So we're well trained to do what we're about to do now. So all year, uh, the Space Camp Alumni Association has been hosting Space Bowls, uh, virtual since we weren't allowed to go anywhere. And it all culminates today, we're, what we're doing here today, the Spaceball Tournament of Champions. So this usually we invite anyone and everyone to come play. It's an open invitation, but today is different. Today is a tournament and it is only champions. It's invitation only. Everyone here on this, on this game today is best of the best. Um, they've each won at least one monthly Spaceball. Very impressive group of people and they've earned the right to be here. So. And also, usually, there are no prizes. You're just playing for qualifi qualification. Fun but factor, right? Today, yeah. it's not fun. Well, it is fun. But it's also, there are rewards. And those take the form of gift cards for Space Camp swag to the U.S. Space and Rocket Center gift shop online or in person. Yes. That's so, right. so um, let's see. I think that takes care of the housekeeping. I think, I think so. Right, right. I'm on, I'm on here. You know, we're in mission control and I'm on with the- We are in mission control. Yes, we are. Very cool. We're not at all in our living yeah. rooms anymore. Yeah, Rebecca and I are ready to go. <laughs> we're, we're on with, uh, you know, um, other uh, stations like maybe the ISS. Or just in case Fair they want to chime in. Right, yeah, right. right. Yeah. So. Fair point. Um, usually we do 25 questions. Uh, yeah. This is the Tournament of Champions. It's actually the, the official Space Bowl Alumni Association Tournament of Champions, I think is the official name. Um, it's a mouthful. This time we're going 50 questions, multiple choice. The first 40 of those are uh, multiple choice 1,000 point questions. Some of them are multi-select, which is also a curveball we're throwing out. So those may require two answers to be considered correct, and it will be indicated in the question. It'll say pick two. Um, after that, we do 10 lightning round true-false worth double the points. Uh, time matters, as you all know. So read the question carefully, read the answers, but answer quickly. Uh, points go down the longer it takes you to answer. Um, I think that is it. So if everyone is ready, get your fingers on your buzzers and we will start the game officially. Let's rock and roll. Here we go. Turn the screen. Here we go. How many Space Camp alumni have flown in space? Well, we know that here, this is zero. And this is an answer that has changed in yes, recent history. Yes, it has. So this is cool. This is right. We've used this question before, but now the answer is 12. We got a few on this All one. right. Very nice. We'll move quickly through these since we have 50 questions. Ducky. Wow. Yeah, wow. Look Ducky. at that. Wow. Okay. Very nice. Okay. Who was the second man to orbit the Earth? We all know the first. It, 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 it wasn't David Bowie? It was. <laughs> I thought it was. It was Russian Titov. That's I'm, gonna, I'm sure that's perfect Russian pronunciation. OK. <laughs> Question three. Well, let's see. I'm oh, sorry. Let's see. All right. Uh, PK and Tripod jump into this one, OK? These are tougher than normal. Some of these are repeats. The F4 at Aviation Challenge participated in which famous air battle? We were out there washing planes this morning. Yes, we were. We sure were. Not the uh, F-4, but. All right. Operation Bolo. Very nice. And Ducky is uh, taking a commanding lead. Now, Ducky's not actually a duck because they're not allowed to play. <laughs> Why not? Good question. How many Apollo missions landed on the moon? How many? That's How right. many, indeed? We know one. Yeah. Six. Oh, Six is the, is the correct answer. There we go. Very nice. Got a few people on that one. Yeah. Ducky has the fire sign beside her name, which means 
that she's not she's actually, on fire. Well, well, she's on fire metaphorically. <laughs> okay, that's that's. It, she's on fire for trivia. Thank goodness. Okay. <laughs> Four in a row for Dark Moon. How many manned Apollo missions flew to the moon but did not land on the moon? One, two, three, or four. Ooh, a little mixture there. The pyramid. Nice. The answer is yeah. three. So Apollo 8, 10, 13. Yep. Right? Okay. All right. Starting to get tired. Scores are building. Scores yep. are building. Yep. Question six. 12 men walked on the moon. How many flew to the moon but did not walk on the moon? Ooh, I love this one. Got to do some math. Quick some math. Stuff. Quick math. Uh, we flew people. all the way to the moon, didn't walk. Oh, ho, 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 ho. look at that. Very nice. No. We stumped everyone. Stumped everyone. No, I meant nice for us. We yeah. stumped everyone. Yeah. So, so. All right. Um, yeah, very good. Yeah. We don't have to explain everything. Everybody can Google that up. So no one, no scores moved. The original space camp was located in mm -hmm. Florida, Alabama, California, or Texas. Mm -hmm. And... You're looking wow. at it. You're looking at Good. it. Great. <laughs> Very nice. Okay. Adding to everyone. Okay, let's see here. Uranus has only been visited by this single spacecraft. Wait. The USS Enterprise didn't go there? Well, I thought. Oh, that was in a movie. Sorry. That was a movie. Was Sorry. Was that was a movie. Was Sorry. Was right. <laughs> but the Voyager, Voyager 2. Voyager 2. Voyager, yes. as they say. Yes. In Star Trek. Yeah. Talk about yeah. Voyager 2. Very good. All right. Ducky still. Oh, but only, long. yeah. That's but, uh, mm, still. Interesting. Some uh, movement near the mid of the uh, player board there. What is the approximate cost of a NASA spacesuit? Not a flight suit, a <laughs> space, space suit. suit. Some ranges to play with there. Yeah, there you go. They're, uh, about half and half on that they're, one. They're not cheap. Yep. And actually, I've seen estimates that go higher than that, depending on, yeah. you know. Yeah, and uh, we've got some notes from you know, the ISS. They're saying that you know they, they might dispute that number, but uh, you know they're talking it through, and it's uh, but uh, yeah. Give me that. Give me that. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Stop playing. Sorry. All right. All right. Good. No choice for you. <laughs> it's tempting, right? We all love but playing I, with the the call buttons. But, yeah. But we were all younger then. Okay, here we go. Moving you, on. Let's see. What are, you, what are you trying to say? <laughs> uh, we, there was some movement there. Look at that. Uh, yeah. Mike, Mike, Mike has a, he's on fire with a four, three in a row. And Tripod moves into second. All right. Closing the gap. In which year did Sally Wright and Kathy, Catherine Sullivan become the first two women in space at the same time? Interesting. Um, it was no, in the it, 80s or people 90s. People taking their time on this one. It was the 80s or 90s. Oh, yeah, but, but oh wow. Most got it. Most got, got it. it. Very nice. They flew pretty, yeah, yeah they were yeah. really close together, actually. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. We got 50 questions. These are going to be astronomical yeah. stories. So we're stories. fifth of the way through. Fifth of the way. Who narrated the IMAX film? One of my favorites, The Dream is Alive. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. I love it when you see the timer go down and take I know. Uh, but not most, it's Walter Cronkite. Most did get it. That's right. Very nice. Okay, Mike, Mike, Mike coming. He's, he's making a move. What is the German name for the V2? The German name of the V2. And I, I really don't want to try to pronounce this. So let's just hope everyone gets it. Everyone, uh, no. No, 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 no. No, no. Two of you got it. It's the red one. I'm going to go with that. The red one? Unless you want to pronounce it. <laughs> okay. The red is. Yeah, grab four. That's Mike, 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 moving out. Look at, look at this. Mike, okay. Mike, Watch it, Ducky. He's on you. Okay, here we go. 13. Lucky number 13. Where is the sculpture Fallen Astronaut located? We're getting into the art world here. Mm, a lot of you knew that. Ah, okay. yeah, yeah, that didn't stump many. Very small Apollo 15, I think. Mm -hmm. That did not stump many. That's uh, impressive. Okay, here we go. 14. 14. How many planets can be seen without a telescope? Assuming you have standard normal vision. I love this one. It is a great one. Three, four, five, or six. 
Oh, a split. Uh, oh. There's going to be some arguing on this one, but. Yep. You know, there is one you can see even during the day. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 That's right. It's really bright. Yes, that's true. <laughs> All right. What is the name of Apollo 13's lifeboat? In quotes. The age of Aquarius. God, everybody knew that. Yeah, that was, I think that's the first question everybody got so far. Yeah, yeah, you're right. right you're right. Okay, so not going to have any movement there. 16. Oh, it's a multi select. You're going for two. The first crewed rendezvous in space was between these two missions. Mm -hmm. uh oh. Pick two. One answer in. Timer's still going. People are thinking about this one. Oh, oh, oh. Are we going to get to zero? Uh, so. Look at this. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Jiminy six and seven. Jiminy or Gemini? All the old people said Jiminy. Remember that? In the yeah. Old, yeah. yeah, I've been guilty of calling it both. Actually. Yeah. All right, six and seven. Hey. <laughs> Oh, did you see that? Yes, that? I did. That was a flip there. That was nice. All right. And what is the accepted approximate age of the universe? Speaking of old. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I have balloons for that at this store. Were you here at the beginning of the universe? Here we go. Um, here we go. Maybe. <laughs> Getting ugly. <laughs> All right. Almost 14 billion years. So. See, I'm, it's on my own page. Pretty good. Yeah. That age. <laughs> what is the record for the longest flight duration of an aircraft? You know, I took this one trip this month. It, it, it felt flight. like it was it was aircraft, not spacecraft. Aircraft. aircraft. Uh, oh, oh, well. Done. So wow. that's you, 19, you wanna, it was, yeah. yeah, I got it. So it's between two and a half and three months. Uh two guys uh as a publicity stunt, 1958. They just flew around in circles out of Nevada and apparently refueled with a truck. Just a truck would fly, would speed under them. Almost like a movie where they just kind of. I bet they were tired of each other. <laughs> Goodness. Sort of like we will be in a Cessna 172. Right? Wow. Not a lot of room in that. No. 64 days. What is this? <laughs> <Huh>. <laughs> what is that? Caffeine, maybe? <laughs> That's the formula for caffeine. Yeah. The Drake equation. Ah, but man, most did get this. Most got it. Wow. Most got it. Little, some, some, uh, some smarts in the game today. Hmm. All right. Oh, Another still, flip. Did, still movement, yeah. All right. Mike, 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 making a comeback. Love it. Nickname, textbook, this astronaut flew which Mercury mission? Mm -hmm. You got to know the guy. You got to know the mission. It's a two parter. Oh, most got actually that answer pretty well, quickly. Most got it. Yeah, most most sure. Oh, yeah, very nice. Then, so Ducky's still holding on to the top there, Ducky, but it is Ducky, getting tighter. Ducky, Ducky's killing it. Mary Jackson, Dorothy Vaughn, and Katherine jo Johnson are characters in this film. Of course. I mean, yeah. okay. that's our second one where everybody got it. Yeah. Yeah. Even I got to have a few obvious. Shout things, out right? to NASA Langley. That's right. Also a Lego set. Yeah. Right. Yeah. They had a little. The hidden figures Lego set. That's, that's right. right. That's right. Yeah. Another multi-select. So you're going for two. Earlier this spring, NASA announced these two upcoming missions to to uh, Venus. To the Venus. Uh oh. Nobody. Mm. Nobody. Slow. It's yeah. Slow this answer. Is two answers. Well, we got four answers. Five. Taking their time. Six answers. Are we gonna get down to zero? Might be another one. Whoa, no. However, there's this intervention. Actually, most actually most, got it. Most got it. You're right. I would not have gotten it. And it's interesting that the leaderboard keeps switching on us, That's, uh, but it is tightening. Name this aircraft. I'm going to go with Larry. Larry, we can go like Larry. Mm, it's Larry. Yeah. I feel like Bob. Oh, oh, they, oh, they meant what was it called? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so. 
they weren't asking for our input, right? Is that is that correct? Twenty four. This movie was a slapstick comedy takeoff of Top Gun. We talked about this movie last night. Yeah. Okay. Oh, All boom, right. Boom. Well, everybody gets the movie questions immediately. Yes. Not everybody, <laughs> as we found out last night. No comment. <laughs> yeah. No comment. Secret says. Okay. Twenty five. Where was the core stage of the SLS tested earlier this year? Mm -hmm. Actually, most are getting this pretty bad. Boom. Yeah. Oh, Although, split. some wrong answers. Yeah, yeah, okay. Marshall is over Stem Cell Lake, but they tested it at Stem Cell uh -huh. Okay. I remember discussing that with our board, board leader, Chris. So, the space shuttle orbiter was, the, this orbiter was the most frequent visitor to Mir. But is it a shuttle or is it an orbiter? And whoa, <laughs> which, which only was one it? got it right. Atlantis, yeah. Discovery is the obvious wrong answer, so <laughs> I get it. But yep, yeah, Mir. Oh, nobody on the. Oh, no wow. Nobody. Moving along, how many manned Gemini flights were launched? Two Gemini flights. Gemini is the overlooked yes. program, so oh, throw, throw two oh. in for that in the shadows. Most got it, though. Most got it. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. 28. This rocket was used to test Apollo's launch escape system. And I think there's one sitting down in Houston. Mm -hmm. I think. All right, little Joe. Four got it. So it's still, that's a split decision. A split decision. Wow. Yeah, look at that. I missed <laughs> This was the first launch of the Saturn V. The first launch. Of the five. <laughs> first of the four or five. When the Apollo four. Uh, no people. No people. Just okay. But well, there's a lot of movement every time. Yes, there is. The record for fastest speed any human has traveled is held by the crew of blank. Oh, 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 only two got it. Now, which two is the question? Ducky got it. <laughs> All right. 31, which, what is the most dense planet in our solar system? The densest planet. Oh, my the densiest. My wife says I'm the densest person. Mm. That's, 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 wow. That yeah, is the next question. The next yeah. question. It's coming up. One did more I, to answer. I just give it away. Only one guy is wow. Earth. Earth. Wow. Yeah. Is that because is that because I'm I think that's honest? just everyone's general attitude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. Yeah. yeah wow. Thirty-two. ISS Expedition sixty-one featured complete the sense. Tacos. They're kind of long. <laughs> featured tacos. Oh, it was oh, the first enchiladas. <laughs> The first all woman spacewalk. First time two females to spacewalk at the same time. That was just that was just that was last year. Yeah, yeah. 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 And only two got it. But the question is which two? Okay. All right. Here we go again. 33. It's a multi-select. Pick two. Who conducted the final spacewalk on Endeavor's 93 mission to repair Hubble? And it was in. The dream, dream is, is alive. alive. Yes, it was. <laughs> it's two dream is alive questions. Oh, people are taking their time with this one. Most did get it, though. Most got it. Pinky and Ox mm. were their nicknames, right? I think that's in the movie. Okay. Coming towards the end of the multiple choice. What is the wingspan of the space shuttle orbiter? Give or take. It's closest. <laughs> People are taking eh, still a few are taking their time. Yeah, that's tricky too. Uh, but most got it. Most, most got, got it. it. I know their stuff. They know their stuff. All right. Moving quickly, 35. At what approximate altitude does the first stage of the Saturn V separate? 
heard that in a documentary the other day. So if it only had one stage, it could go this high. But look at this. Oh, wow. Only one person gets one it. One person. There you go. 40. My question is who? It's a lot of power to go 40 miles. Mike, okay. Mike, Mike. Mike, Mike, Mike. Congrats. Mike cubed. Climbing back up there. 36. Name this Space Camp Hall of Famer. Come on. Most got it. Most got it. I picked an old photo, just mm. thinking, throw some people on. Yeah. Funk in the news very recently. The only difference between LM and LEM is the E. The E. The e. Oh, that had to be loud for everyone. Sorry about that. <laughs> Excursion. Most so, did get that. That's most good. Got it. Yeah. Most got it. Okay, 38. Mr. Thirsty would be part of the blank. Another acronym question. That's not like a soda, is it? <laughs> it can be in an emergency. <laughs> ah, that That's the abbreviation for uh, a school system I'm aware of, so it's always awkward for me to see that. <laughs> That's right. All right, everyone pretty much almost got it. All right, 39. A trip to space camp was a regular prize on this game show. Oh, come on. Should be a give me. Should be a give me. <laughs> Boom. Double yeah, dare. Double dare. Slime. Slime. And it's green. See, that's a perfect. <laughs> that's, why, that's why we put it there. <laughs> what? That, show should come back. that was a good show, wasn't it? It's a good show. Since Mercury 3's launch, what was the longest stretch of time? when no manned rockets were launched from U.S. soil. So, not before Mercury, but since Mercury, right. how long have we gone with no U.S. Here you go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, nine years. Look at that. And only one gets it. Only Interesting. Gets it. And as I keep saying, which one got it? Though? That would be 2011 until last yeah. year. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Who was it? It was not in the top five. Wow. So, okay, the top five all missed that. Mm. Okay, we're in true and false lightning round, double points. Space Camp's attendance doubled following the release of the film Space Camp. It is true. I may or may not have been one of those double I think maybe <laughs> all of us were. <laughs> we all helped there. All right, points change quickly here. So, moving on. SpaceX Mission Control Center is located in McGregor, Texas. SpaceX in Texas. And, oh, most got it. There you go. Their facilities, right? But not Mission Control. Okay. MET stands for Mission Exploration Time. Boom, look at that. That was quick. Elapsed, right? All right, that was quick. Okay, 44. All the other planets in the solar system could fit between the Earth and the moon. Mm -hmm. Great question. But, oh. It is true, apparently. Yeah. But All the, the diameters, it makes no sense. But the fact that only two got it with the points. Double points, we could have some, uh, Oh, it's getting tight. It's okay. getting tight. At the top, it is, uh, it's close. Everyone. And there are prizes for the top three. They're, they're all in striking distance. Yes. So here we go. 45. The Great Wall of China is the only man-made object visible from space. I know I learned that in school. I really did. But it you, is you, false. You, you learned that. I didn't have the best teacher. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I thought that my entire life. Right. This is live, right? She's watching. <laughs> okay. 46. The Morgan Keenan system is used to classify stars. He's still on Saturday Night Live, right? I was going to go, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. <laughs> but, is, no, but, but only two got it. They get this going to be important. Which two? Oh, I'm jumping into the top five there. Wow, this is going to be right to the wire. 
HLS stands for Human Landing System. How, how, how does that happen? work? Do they actually just kind of like? Uh -huh. Oh, it's exactly it. Is that a landing? That's exactly it. But most got well, no, that's that happened. So we can still. Oh! 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 oh. oh my gosh! So this yeah, is this is this is gonna be, and we got what three left? Two left? Yeah. yeah. This is where we have to go to a commercial break. Yeah. Think, right? Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Three left. The SLS will send astronauts to the moon on Artemis One. Oh, very clever. It's a split. It's called add button. Button. But most got it wrong. Most got it wrong. Well, no, yeah, no, three got it wrong. Okay. Ooh. Here we go. Okay. Oh, man. Okay, okay. two left, right? Two, two questions, 4,000 points at stake. John Glenn currently holds the title for the oldest person to fly in space. He flew on uh, the shuttle. And yes, Disco Discovery? Will he? Yeah. A split. But but again, most got it wrong. So it's a split, but only three are right. Which three? That's going to be really critical here. Oh, okay. This is literally this is this is for all the marbles. It is, uh, yeah, yeah. All right. All right. I almost feel like I should give a hint here. Okay, here we go. Last question. It's a related question. According to recent news, the oldest title a person to fly in space may soon be held by William Shatner. Oh, wow, look, look at that. that. All seven, even. Wow, that's the way they ended. But but speed of answer matters. Speed of answer matters. Here we go. Here we go. Third place. I'm not going to try. Oh, Sarah. OK. <laughs> Second and place, Ducky, Ducky. Which means? Houston, we have a winner. Yes, we do. And Mike. And it's Mike. 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 Wow. Yay. Wow, very nice. And PK and Tripod, that's, that's great. We can see runners up. Awesome. Awesome Amazing. game. Amazing. Yeah, really. It's one of our tightest games we've ever had. Yeah, oh, that's hope, great. A lot of trick questions there. Thank you to everyone for playing. Uh, hope you all had fun. Tell all your friends about this. We're going to do this some more next year. Yes, we are. Yeah. Um, and, and maybe you can qualify to play in the Tournament of Champions. Wait, the second annual. I can qualify. It's no, doubtful, but it is possible. Oh, no. Yeah. No. Okay. But they can. That's right. Okay, yeah, great. Hey, good. That's right. All right, yeah. Pay attention. Uh, look at the Facebook uh, alumni chapter, uh, sorry, Alumni Association Facebook page for details about upcoming games. Yep. And if you went to Space Camp, um, join the alumni association, uh, uh, alumni association by going to spacecampalumni.com. Yep. And I think that is it for this year. Congrats again to all the winners. Thank you, everyone, for participating not only in the championship, but in our previous tournaments we've had, the monthlies we've it's done, which fun. we will we'll probably hear a little bit more about in the future. All right. Good. Any congratulations. Party? Yes. Yes. Congratulations Thank to our winners. Bye. Bye. Take care, everyone. <laughs>